Hey guys, here I have the UDI RC UA818 Alpha HD drone. So this guy here, one of my motors seized up on it, so now we gotta fix it or throw it away. So I was thinking about just chucking it, but then I realized, well, maybe we can fix it. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do now. Uh, it's just one motor, it's seized up, and I'll show it to you right now. So here's my drone. Uh, and this motor right here actually seized up. It won't spin. So these other guys, they're fine. So these guys spin. Problem is this guy. So how do we replace that uh, that motor? Actually, what we end up what we're end up going to be doing is just taking this whole motor arm off. And it's actually pretty easy. They're eight bucks or four bucks brand new. You can get them on Amazon or a bunch of different places. So let's go ahead and get started on that. This is the bottom of the drone. Uh, I actually have already removed that part right there. So here's the actual motor. And in order to, what I did is I took off actually the propeller. So here's the propeller and the, what the propellers are held on by is just a little screw. You can see the screw right there. See, there's the screw. That's the screw that you just unscrew to take this propeller off. Take off the propeller because you want to keep the propeller. Uh, and then in order to take off the arm, there's actually a screw so okay, all you need to do is take off these, the yellow and orange pair that go to this socket over here, right there, and then you're gonna take off these guys that go over here. Make sure that you remember where they go to because this is the same spot that you're gonna have to reconnect your, your motor to. So let's go ahead and take those off. This guy's kinda come off. Yeah, I need two hands for this, so, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna, there's a little groove in there, just put your nails in there and lift it up. So, hold give me one sec. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's actually some red goo on there and that's making it kind of tough to take it off. What I actually did was I cut it. I cut that red goo to make it easier to take off. Because otherwise that, that bloody red goo holds it. Holds it in place. You can see it right here, this goo. So I already cut that one and then you have red goo over here. And I already sliced that one and moved it around so I could easily access that connector. Okay, so that's the screw. This guy right here, that's the one that you need to take off to take off this arm. If you wanted to take off this arm, then you'd have to take off the screw right here. And you can see it right there. Okay, so this guy, just unscrew it. I'm just going to unfinish screwing and just pull it out. So, mine's pretty much already there. Uh, once you get that off, uh, you can kind of tricky to pull it out. So, put the screw there, and then just pull this out. One sec. So grip it by the frame, grip it here. Just and it just slides out. And that's the screw that holds it. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, right there. That's the that's the hole that it gets screwed into. And that is the whole arm and the motor so and that's all you need so take this out and now we're going to go ahead and set that down now here we have the, the brand new one like i said this one i can you read that uh hold on oh one more thing you want to make sure that you get the right motor so in this case mine happened to be a clockwise motor and you'll be able to tell just by a by your your particular drone so make sure you get the right one and they tend to spin like against each other so you have like looking at these two white uh, these two white propellers so you look at this one and this guy spins this way it spins counterclockwise so this one right here spins clockwise okay and then they all spin differently so then you come over here to this guy this black one and this one right here it spins clockwise so since this one spins clockwise, this one over here has to spin counterclockwise, okay? So just pay attention to that when you're buying it, otherwise <laughs> your drone won't fly right. Okay, let's continue with that. Okay, there's the new arm. I just got to finish screwing in this. I'm going to put a battery into it after that and attach a blade here to see that if this actually works. So just want to make sure that it does. If it does, then we are golden. So let's go ahead and finish that. Okay, so that part's in there. Now just we're gonna put these wires where they belong. Let's see if I can set this down here. 
Okay, so the yellow and orange will go over here with the yellow and orange. Orange will go to the outside. Yellow inboard. Now, your drone might be different than mine. If it is, then just make sure you pay attention to where your the, the colors match up when you put your motor in there. Okay, that, that one's in there. Now, red and green. I don't know if you can see this. I mean, it's... Ah, uh, no, this one, I think red goes to the outside. And green inside. It's kind of tough to grab this thing. These are so tiny little pieces, you just have to... Yeah, just have to work with that as best you can. I don't even know if you can see this. Probably not. No, it's okay. Hold on. Okay, so there they're all in place, all screwed back in, and now I'm going to apply power and see if we can, uh, well, no, first I'm going to add, I'm going to add this uh, propeller, then I'm going to add power, and then we'll see how this works. Okay, well, I'm kind of worried here because <laughs> it's a blue light and it should be red, so, yeah, let's see if it spins. Hmm. Well, it's the wrong color of light, but it works. Nice. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just going to give it a little bit of juice. All the blades spin. Excellent. Great. So now I'm going to put it all back together. The And all you really need to do is just, it has these little I guess holes right here and these are the spot that actually go on each arm so you'll notice that at the front of the drone it has this anchor right here that's where you put the light so it's just gonna sit on just like that and then you're just gonna push down to put these arms into those grooves and then after you do that you have this shroud over here and that just goes uh, on top of that you don't really need to put it on there but you can so uh, I have it off for now Anyhow, let's uh, let's go ahead and put this on. So I'm just going to do one uh, because they're all the same. So. so anyhow, you just find it right there, and this is one-handed. So if I could do this one-handed, I will, and if I can't, then I won't. But it's just right there, and you just push down. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of wobbly with one hand. Let me see if I can set it like this. But you can't see it because there's a shadow. Maybe I can go like this. So if you guys can see. So anyhow, it's just right there. I find that if you give it a little bit of a twist, it makes it a little bit easier. And it's in there right there. I don't know if you can see that. Just like that. And you just do the same thing to all of them. That's it. Okay, right now we have... These are all in so far. We got that guy, that one. Can okay, we zoom in there? That one, and then we have the last one over there. Now we just need to put this last one in there, and it's pretty straightforward. Let's see if I can do this so you guys can see. All you need to do is just push this guy down. I'm trying to do it so that you can see. It's kind of tough with this light. And that's it. Just snaps into place now. The drone is ready. Well, except for this light over here. We still need to bolt that down. But once that's screwed in, then we'll be good. Okay, here it is fully assembled. This is the motor that we removed. You can tell that this guy right here, it spins clockwise. This guy spins counterclockwise. And now it is, it is the correct motor. Problem is, is that blue light. Uh, I guess I could totally remove that blue light. But I'm not going to do it right now. So anyhow, that's it. Now let's go ahead and uh, take it outside and give it a quick flight. Okay, so this is the main flight now. Let's see how it goes. Go for it. Now try to hover it around. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. So, okay, here we have it again, and now there's actually a pretty good wind blowing right now. 
So even in a pretty good wind, it's still flying nicely. You know, you have other drones that if it gets too windy, you know, you can't control them. It just gets pushed around. This is able to actually maintain in the wind. Uh, right now we have maybe about 5 to 10 miles per hour wind, maybe 7. So, but yeah, nice. Okay, go for it. So now we're going to try the, the picture function. So just try to take a picture. It's kind of tough because it's so windy right now. If it wasn't so windy, this wouldn't be so difficult. But it being windy, it's uh, kind of tough. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Nice. Good job, pilot. Good job. So, how does it feel to other drones that you've flown so far? It, it feels easy to feather it. Yeah? Pretty nice. I think I'm going to go for a second round, actually. <laughs> go for it. Is it nice? Is it fun? Yeah. I can see why this would be a good present. Yeah, right? Ooh. Yeah. Watch out. Cool.